Good day guys, I'm Morgan Z, and today we're going to talk again about Australian bots. This is the third video about Australian bots so far. If you haven't checked it out the other two, make sure that you do. I highly recommend that you do. You will definitely find at least one useful information. Coming back to why you click on this video, get Australian bot to work with YouTube as well. In this video, we're going to cover basic chat commands. We're going to cover point system, redemptions, and basic YouTube sub goal, only text. Of course, you can make graphics yourself. This is just a basic tutorial. Obviously, some bits and pieces will be more on the intermediate level but just bear with me i will get you there now let's jump at the computer we're gonna do a command now when you first open Shrewbot, you won't have much of anything if you haven't connect your platform make sure that you watch number one video but let's go to platform youtube accounts and this is where you log in with your broadcaster account. So this is your main account. And then if you do have a bot account, that's where you join it. Now, let's go and make a command. If you made, <clears throat> if you watch the video uh, that I made about Twitch and Streambots, this will feel very familiar. It's almost the same, not really, but almost the same. Let's go have a look. So we're going to the action side. As you can see, we are in the action side. We right click, add, and then we name it, for example, I don't know, uh, socials. We want to make sure that we type the name of the group so for example um let's say chat command chat commands if you don't have it already otherwise it will come up in the drop down but since there's a new in instance of Snowbot, you want to have anything and then you click ok see how it's already divided into into groups so you have the check commands, one action. It's really good because sooner or later you, you will have 50 to 100 actions. And if you don't have this written in group, you're gonna go crazy, try to find which action belongs where. So this is really good. Then we go into triggers, right click again, core. Then we go commands, commands trigger, we click. And then you will see a new pop-up Command, because we don't have any commands made, it will say any. We just go and create command. Then we call it social. What I like to do is, since most likely you have Twitch as well, Twitch and YouTube. So what I like to do is, before socials, I put YT. So it's a bit more organized like this so you know which commands on top of the group it will be again chat commands this is what people have to type in chat so we go exclamation mark socials they want to make sure that we ignore bot account and ignore internal messages we tick them off because if, for example, you try to um, you, you try to type a command, whether you're typing as yourself or your bot, if you type it on this chat and those two are flags, it won't trigger commands from the chat. So you want to make sure that those two are not ticked. In this case, we don't need a cooldown. 
there are some commands that will be a much of a pain. So you want to make sure that you use a cooldown. Cooldown means that uh, for however amount of time you set here in seconds, for that amount of time, so let's say a command is triggered now, you put down a cooldown of 60 seconds. With the global cooldown, nobody can trigger the command again for the next 60 seconds. User cooldown, it's by user. Some command you do want to give them permissions. So for example, some of them you want them only for moderators, only for subscribers or VIPs, or you can um, select single users instead of groups. Last thing before we click OK, you see how it says Twitch message here is selected. We deselect it and we select YouTube message. That way, Shroombot will listen to messages from YouTube instead of Twitch in this case. Then we click OK, it will auto populate and then we go OK. See how it's populated here? So we got our trigger and now the sub action. The sub action is what actually want to happen. In this case, we right click, we go YouTube and we go send message to channel. And my socials, for example, are HTTPS forward slash wog or dot net. You, if you have a bot account joined with certain bot, you can do preferred account bot. Otherwise, you're going to drop down and select broadcaster. And broadcast, you want to have latest. Shrimpbot supports both vertical and horizontal at the same time. But I found that broadcast latest work the best. Let me know down in the comments if you have a different experience. But anyway, so we go net. We go OK. So now, if someone types in chat, exclamation mark socials, now this message will pop up. I cannot show you like I did with Twitch because with YouTube, unless you're live, you can't use chat. So even if I was going to type it in chat, it would not work. But trust me, <laughs> it'll work. Keep in mind that you, you can do much more than send messages. Like if you right click only on YouTube, what you can do is send message channel, set description, set title, set title description, moderate. You can ban people. You can't even do it in, in, in the actual YouTube chat, but you can do it through Shrimpbot. It takes a bit of tinkering. If you're interested, I'm happy to do a video tutorial about those weird commands. I don't know if that makes sense. Like for moderators and stuff, let me know down in the comments. And you can set, you can add people to group or you remove people to group. There's a lot that can be done. Also, uh, you have integration with Shroombot. So you can trigger a command on the stream, but on the stream deck or uh, you can send a message to Discord with via webhook or you can trigger a voice with voice mod. The possibility are a lot. This is just the basic commands. If you, as I said, if you want me to do stuff more in detail, I'm happy to do it. But otherwise, experiment. If you find something cool, make sure that you tag me on Twitter at Wogos at YouTube. So we're working it together. Even if it doesn't work or you're almost there and you need a hand, tag me on Twitter. I'll give you a hand. This is when it comes to command. For the point system, this is not something that I made. Hunter 
shout out. You, he, he's a legend. He's made a lot of a lot of stuff for our streamers, and I will have the link uh, to this in the description down below, but also in the blog post. I'm trying to do for each uh, video that I make, try to make a blog post on the side. So if you prefer to read instead of watch, you can still get the information through. Completely up to you. Now for the YouTube point system, this is what it is. Um, it's one of the extension of Streambot made by Hunter. He's great. There are in, um, instructions easy to follow, but I'm just going to show you since we're here, I'm just going to show you anyway. So the only thing that you have to do is, you see this? Import code. So you just have to click to download it. You just save it, whatever you, you have to save it. Mine will be in uh, in downloads. As you can see, I have it here in downloads. So what you have to do here is click on import at the top. Let me see if I can show you. All right, so at the top here, it will say import, click on it, and then the only thing that you have to do is literally hover over the file, get it, and then import the string into Streambot. Now we don't need this anymore. You just have to, this, this is all here. You just have to import, click on it. It will say the commands that are being imported will be set to disabled. Be sure to edit these commands to enable them and set any permission desired. We just go, okay, here you go. We have the YouTube point system right here. What the pop-up message refers to is if you go on the top, you go into commands, you see how those ones are in red? It means that they are disabled. So the only thing that you have to do is click on the YouTube point system, where it says YouTube point system six commands. You right click group, enable all. That's all you have to do. The commands to add points, set points, give points. You can set a point's name if you want to. It's really, really easy. Mine, for example, are called rings. I prefer to have golden rings. So that's what I call them. And you can set your own name if you want to. You don't have to, but you can. What I want, actually want to show you is, so you have all the actions here. You don't have to touch anything except for this command. This command that says sample redeem something YouTube, duplicate this. So what you do is you right click, you duplicate it. See how it says copy, then you double click with the left um, with the left click of your mouse. And then what you do is, let's just say, let's call this hello. Right? And then the group, instead of YouTube point system, we call it redemption or redeemables, whatever you want to call them. It's just an example. And it will be YouTube redemptions. And then you click OK. See how new groups gets, um, get created? So at least you know they, you're not making a mess, basically. So, uh, don't worry about those ones. Um, we're just going to double click on set argument points to 250. We double click and we change the value. You don't have to change the value, but ultimately, all the redemptions should have their own prices. In this case, the default price is 200 coins. 
Um, some of them you want to have them very low, like at 50 or 100. Others you want to have even at thousands. Let's put thousand for now, and then you go, okay. So now the new cost of hello is 1,000 coins. Keep in mind that the coins are not money. The coins are earned the same way as Twitch channel points. So basically just by watching, um, subscribing on YouTube, um, becoming a member as well, chatting in chats. Um, this is how the point system works on YouTube. So the only thing that would change here is the price. Then set argument redeem name to, so we change the value here to the same name of the redemption. So in this case will be hello. We call it hello. So, uh, so when, so the next step, um, once this get redeemed, it would have, if you double click, obviously you want to set it to broadcast unless you have a board account. It would just say user with the name of the person, just redeem, redeem name, which is what we set to hello here. Uh, for point cost, which is what we set here, 1000. And then points name. We didn't change the points name because you have to do it via chat and we are offline now. So it will have your points name that you give it to or the standard one that will be points. You And it will say you have now the points that the person has, points name left. For example, just making it up, but this is possible. If, you know, I come in and chat and I redeem something, it will be Wogger Z, just redeem hello for 1,000 points. You have now, talking to me, obviously, you have now 200 points left. It doesn't get better than this. Okay, guys, like this is very, very straightforward. Next thing that you want to change is see how it says action example. Put whatever action you want here. So below here, we want to, for example, core. And we do, for example, we want to uh, run a program or a keyboard or sounds. We want to play a sound. You go to core, sounds, play sounds, audio device, we just leave it as it is. Um, file sound to play, you can search in your file. And then finish playing before continuing. I would highly recommend to remove the flick on here because uh, if you have a song that lasts two minutes, you will have two minutes of redemption. <laughs> so until the song finishes, the redemption doesn't finish. So, um, and redemption usually lasts five, 10, 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds. This is even, you know, a long redemption. Um, and then you can adjust the volume here. You can have it up to 200% or zero. And then you click OK. You can even test it, as you can see. You can even test it. The last thing that we want to do is create the trigger. Remember how we did the command before? Same way, because this is actually a command. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to trigger, right click. We go again, core, commands, commands triggered. Do not use command cooldown. Command trigger. And then we create a command again. What I personally like to do, you don't have to do this. This is how I like to organize it. So we go, the name will be um, redeem uh, or redemption. Redemption. 
and we call it hello. But then in the commands, as I said, you don't have to do this, but what I like to do is exclamation mark R for redemption space, and then I click hello. So exclamation R for redemption, and then the name of the redemption. So I think it's easier when you tell your viewers because you put a clear distinction between check commands and redemptions. We're going to do the same thing in ignore bot accounts, ignore internal messages. We untick Twitch and we select YouTube. We put our cooldown, we put our let's say 60 seconds because you don't want redemption to be um, faster than 60 seconds anyway, like triggered more time, like more than once every 60 seconds. We select who we want, then we click OK. Order populates again, OK. So now if someone goes in chats and types exclamation mark R hello, it would have our redemption. Easy. If you have any questions, make sure that you let me know. But I think this is very straightforward. All right, so when it comes to this, it's a little bit complicated, but mostly to get the YouTube API key which is probably the hardest part, I want to say. It's all written, very easy to understand because you have to get your own API key. It explained really well. As I said on my post as well, this is explained really, really easy. So the only thing that you have to do is Create an API key for yourself um, on your Google dashboard. No, you don't need to be monetized to do this. This is the easiest way to get it. You literally just have to follow the prompt. Once you get your API key, you just click on variables on Streambot and then add variable and the variable name will be YouTube API key. Make sure that capital letters are in the right place because that can mean um, the variable working or not working. And you copy your API key. And then what we're going to do is we're going to import the code. So if you scroll up again, you will see YouTube subscriber account.sp. So you click on it and then you just copy row file up here. You copy it. Then you go into Streambot, import, click on import. Then you just control V or paste, see how it will come up straight away. So you two subscribe count. This is my main stream bot because I don't want to show you my API key. So this is my main stream bot, so I already have it. So in this case, I'm going to close. You have to click on import and you will have this YouTube API three actions. Um, what this does is check as soon as you go live how many subscribers you have and checks when you go before you go offline to see if there is any difference in numbers. And if you have, um, if you gain, I don't know, three, four, five, uh, 10 subscribers during a stream, it will notify you via message. See how it will say, well, we reached the new high number of subscribers. 
The only thing that you need to do in order to get into OBS your subscriber goal text, no graphics, just the numbers, is set GDI text. So how you do how you go about it is right click and you go into OBS sources and then set GDI text. And it will come up like this. I already have it. So it will say connection default. Uh, or if you have more than one OBS connector, you can choose which OBS to go to. In my case, I have just chatting. Sub goal. This is how I make sure that you remember what you name your sources into OBS. Now, to get the subscriber account onto OBS, you have to jump on OBS first and create a normal text source. Once you create a text source, remember how you name it. So you go to right click and then OBS sources set GDI text. It doesn't matter what you wrote on OBS, this will overwrite it. So you have to make sure that you select the right source and in the text, you will type this. Don't worry, uh, I will add it to the blog post uh, and as well down below what you have to type. Once you've done that, obviously uh, the GDI text will be here at the bottom. You have to drag it just like this. You drag it between the two if statements. You see how it says if XYZ does not exist, do nothing, then break else do nothing then continue if rah, 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 greater than rah, 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 do nothing then continue you put the text in between the two the two if statement i know it's a bit confusing this is the only really hard part of this tutorial once you've done that what will come up you will see popping up on the screen now. If you've done it right, obviously, you know, I, I put slash 1000. As you can see, I put slash 1000. So they will have slash 1000 at the top here as well. But then it's giving me as well the numbers of subscribers that I have. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. <laughs> so we raise this number. But this is how you do it. I hope this video has been useful to you. If it has, make sure that you subscribe and you recommend this video to other people so they can know as well what you know now. I can't say you're professional yet because there is a lot to learn about Snowbot. I'm not a professional myself. I'm learning as I go as well. Uh, but Snowbot truly has got unlimited possibilities, unlimited capabilities. This is just, we're just scratching the surface. If you wanna know more, make sure you let me know down in the description below. If you like this video, I'm sure you, you will like one of these videos next. I don't know which side that is. Until next week or next time, huru mates.